Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for March. This is the second Virgo reading, so the other one will be tagged to the end of this. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. Keep in mind that this could resonate at any time. Timing is fluid. And this reading may or may not be for you, so let's just see what happens. What do we got for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? A secret is about to be revealed. What the heck? <laughs> okay. All right. So I, I don't know. A secret is about to be be revealed. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, yikes. Perception. Now, this is, and this is, this is pretty interesting. You notice the mask here. The mask, you can choose to wear the mask or you can choose to take it off. It's your choice. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be, ha be, be sad. It's your choice. It's all a matter of perception, right? So, hmm. We'll read this card at the end. We'll read what it says in the book find the book. Where is the book? Maybe we won't read the book. Maybe we won't read the card. Um, oh, I found the book. The book is right here. So we will read that card at the end. We're going to start. We're going to go with these now. Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Please show me. Please show me. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Ah, this is happiness, right? Happiness, fulfillment, permanent love, perhaps. The storm is over. This could be a spiritual blessing coming into your life. This is blessings. Whole lot of happiness here. <coughs> I just got this tickle in my throat. I haven't had a tickle in my throat for days. It just happened just like that, out of the blue. Um, there could be some sort of delay. There could be something that has been stopped in its tracks. But you got to think about that perception. Maybe it's not really delayed. Maybe there's a reason for it. This is a card of togetherness, mirroring this Ten of Cups. So there's a lot of togetherness here. There's working together. Maybe you need to make some compromises. This is wanting to control a situation. So be careful if you're in that mindset. You know, some things are, are not meant to be controlled. Um, this could also be a lack of discipline. So you may be lacking discipline or lacking ambition or drive to work together, maybe you going through a period of giving up, you know, don't give up. So, hmm. you could be dealing with a fire sign if it's not you. You could be dealing with a fire sign who uh, is kind of lazy and complacent. Maybe this, maybe this fire sign, if, or it could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign, somebody who, um, Maybe they're not moving as quickly as you would like. Maybe they're not doing what you really want them to do and you may be growing frustrated. There's burdens here. Two tens. Somebody may have just completed something in their life and that's why something is going so slow. 
maybe maybe they're not quite ready to cross that bridge yet there's de there's a delay here these are both delays there's a delay in happiness there's a delay in that extreme bliss because you may be perceiving somebody to be ready or you may be perceiving somebody to be in the same mindset as you and they're not there are there's some sort of overwhelming heaviness here something that is uh, a lot to to deal with somebody is dealing with a lot right now whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with maybe they've just walked away from something or you've just walked away from something or you need to walk away from something I mean this is the eight of cups one step at a time right one step at a time be patient think positive don't think negative think positive there's this whatever this situation is it it is going to progress in a positive manner it's it's going down it's going in the right direction but timing is an issue here it is I think that somebody is overwhelmed with something and maybe they just don't have the desire or the drive or the ambition to maybe prove themselves or put in effort. So they've been through something very difficult, something very heavy. And maybe, you know, that's why there's a delay here. But whatever this delay is, it's not going to last. It's not going to last because some good news is coming something good is coming but you you got to think positive you got to change your perception try to see whatever this situation is through the other person's eyes that's my advice just stand in their shoes for a minute seriously whoever this other person is that you're waiting on put yourself in their shoes for a second um, and think positive because whatever this is, it is going to lead to success, but there's some sort of delay because I think that somebody needs to walk away from something or they have just walked away. The Eight of Cups. There's disappointment here. Okay. Somebody has been through something very disappointing and, you know, they may be still a little overwhelmed by it. Nine of Wands. Now, now this is uh, giving up, uh, pushing. You don't need to push for it. Just let it happen. Maybe you need to, somebody needs to let go of something from the nine of wands to the ten of wands and the eight of cups. Somebody needs to let go of their, and it's almost like their need to control the outcome, to have it right now when I want it. There's like a lack of of patience here. You got to think of the king of wands. It's ruled by Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You think about Sagittarius, it's ruled by the Temperance card. Patience. There's lack of patience. You know, you got to have patience. Be patient with other people we don't we don't know what they're walking through what they're carrying what their load is how overwhelmed they are so let me just focus this in i feel and this could be you this could be you but i'm here to tell you that some good news is coming and you're going to progress forward that your progress is going to be made there's just a delay right now there's a delay. So progress is going to be made in a positive direction. But it starts with you letting go of your need to control. That's a, seriously. This is a big, 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 huge opportunity. You have a new opportunity here for something huge coming into your life. Could be a new suitor. Could be a new partner for some of you. It's big. It's really big. Could be a buck, you know. So, <laughs> you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Another one, you know. You're a Virgo, I know, but I'm just saying. Um, somebody that is a very strong individual. Somebody that 
has something really big to offer you, but this person, whoever, whatever this is, whatever you're going, you're going to receive something big, something that you can touch, something that you can hold on to. Oh my God. Oh God. And it is, it's quite unexpected. It is unexpected. You know, there's an unexpected, uh, love connection here. And there's a there's a lot of attraction. There's a there's a lot of compatibility. There is a need to, you know, or a desire to just be together with this person. And you may be getting frustrated with the time it's taking to come together with this person. I think you already know who this person is. If you don't, it could happen unexpectedly. Somebody may be just heading right in your direction. Whoever this love connection is, it leads to victory. The Six of Wands is victory and success, but it starts with you being confident. You have to have confidence in yourself, confidence in the situation. You got to think positive. You guys have a new beginning that is coming, and it's a partnership. It is a partnership, okay? It is definitely a partnership. It is. I mean, you can't. This, this, this is exactly what it is. Um, it's like you guys need each other. You need each other. You both need each other. It's like when you touch, it just feels comfortable. If It's going to feel. If you haven't met this person yet, there's just a comfortable feeling around this person. It's just like, where have you been all my life? Where have you been all my life? But you got to be patient, okay? Wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. This is what you've been waiting for. This is a true blessing. You have a true blessing coming in. It's huge. It's huge. It's a gift. It's a gift. You are receiving a gift, Virgo. But you're going to have to be patient, and I know that's not easy. Even though I know you're pretty patient, you're an earth sign, but still, we're still human, right? Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. This is a time to be hopeful and to think positive. You have somebody new here for some of you, because this is, this is new to me. It is. Um, it could be somebody that you're with now for some of you. And there's an opportunity to heal a love situation. If there's been some sort of uh, you know, delay or there's been some sort of uh, stall, there's been some sort of, uh, oh, what's, the road? what's the word, uh, blockage, something has been in the way. There's an opportunity perhaps for even two people to come back together and heal a situation. I mean, this is love heals. So this could go either way. For many of you, this this is a brand for many of you, this is a brand new opportunity. It is brand spanking new. New sexual partner. No joke. And it is a true 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 blessing. This person may make you feel very at ease, bring peace to you, because I keep seeing the rainbow. Rainbows always signify peace to me. May make you feel at peace. There could be a peaceful resolution to a situation as well. But I feel like whoever is coming into your life is definitely... somebody that you're going to feel very at ease with, very comfortable with, very compatible with. You have a new opportunity coming, Virgo, and it's it's a big one. It is. It's a big one. It's something that you have been wishing for. The star is a wish. It's a, you know, it's a it's a wish. If you think about I just I just heard it's I can't I can't talk. It's Mercury retrograde, so bear with me. It's really affecting me. Um, 
A heart, a dream is a wish the heart makes. That's what's going on here. One of your dreams, one of your wishes is coming to be. But you got to have to be patient as it continues to manifest and come into your life. We're going to read this card. And we're going to get one of these too. What do we got for Virgo? We have a new love connection here. We do. And it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful love connection that you are going to be so at ease with. It's just the most healing union I have felt in a while. Very healing. What do we got for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? In silence, peace prevails. Solitude. Yeah, that's funny. I mentioned peace, but let's see how that resonates. We're gonna we're gonna read this perception card first. The familiar image on the stage is often used as a metaphor for the human experience. Iconic masks of comedy and tragedy, ancient symbols of theatrical culture invoke a spectrum of extreme human emotion. Captured here is the vision of an actress. The red of the curtain, her shoes and flower in her hair combine to, to intensify the atmosphere of vitality and passion. And this is very passionate, too. There's going to be a passionate union here that is going to be undeniable. I think when these two people come together, it's going to be like a, a geez, an unsummonable power of love. You know what I mean? I just heard that song, The Power of Love. When I said, the minute I said that I'm your lady, you are my man by Celine Dion. Anyway, The Power of Love. This is a healing connection that is coming in. Anyway, she holds a feathered mask in her right hand. Her bold and sweeping pose could be communicating many things. But in the absence of words, the audience is left to interpret the relationship between actress and mask through the lens of perception. This card highlights the skill of perception, which encompasses the realm of intuition and extrasensory perception. It is at work while divining with these oracle cards, or indeed any system of divination. While the perce perception card invites you to be open to its gifts, realize that like the actress, it has equal power to delude as it does to facilitate clear thinking. Residue from past experiences, the roles we currently play, and our desires and goals for the future can all color the way we perceive. By being mindful of those potential influences, we can be free from their limitations, stand back from the play of life as part of the audience, to not only enjoy a better view, but to gain a greater appreciation of the storyline. Like I said, step in the other person's shoes. Solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Sit back and wait. Your big opportunity that you have been wishing for, <laughs> it's, you know, I really think that it's probably here. It's here. It's touchable. It's big. It's touchable. And there is going to be touch. For sure. In silence, you'll find a depth of self-awareness as well as inner peace. This is not a time to venture forth with a new project or a new cycle. This is a time to step back and be still. 
In quietude, you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth. Seek solitude and all will be revealed. Did I not tell you a secret was going to be revealed at the very beginning? Oh my God, I love you. Thank you, God. Somebody's feelings or a connection. You're going to come together with somebody and it's going to be like, oh my, like I said, you're my dream. You're my wish. You're what I've asked for. Um, your power is born in stillness. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. This one's mentioning perspective, and this is perception. So, yeah, you guys, huh? it's a lot about perspection. Take time out of your day to be completely quiet. Take deep, slow breaths. Imagine inhaling vitality and ex exhaling all that is not needed. Affirm that all is well. Move past the chatter and the chaos on the road of life. Be still and hear the voices of your higher self and your spirit guides. You are being guided. Maybe the blockage, because remember we saw the blockage is your own perception. And lack of patience as well. You have a huge opportunity here for a beautiful connection. All in good time. Give the situation all the time it needs. This is such a big opportunity. The biggest, best opportunities. The longest lasting opportunities. Don't happen overnight. They don't. Good news is coming. And it does have to do with the partnership. Blossoming into a beautiful love connection. And that is no joke. Uh, 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 there's going to be a lot of togetherness here. Good luck.